Hi everyone, it's Katrina. Number 10. The Sound of Dinosaurs Scientists may have just cracked the code on what dinosaurs sounded like. And it's all thanks to an armored dinosaur that lived 80 million years ago called an ankylosaur. This prehistoric creature was strolling through the forest on four stocky legs, munching on some plants. It was enjoying its day as a dinosaur, and after it swallowed the last of its food, it let out a great, bellowing, bird-like chirp. Not a roar, but a chirp. Researchers believe the chirping ankylosaur wasn't the only one to be making these sounds. Rather than roaring like we've all seen the T-Rex do in the movies, dinosaurs may have chirped like birds. The discovery of the ankylosaur fossil was made in the Gobi Desert Basin in Mongolia. Researchers were shocked when they analyzed its skeleton and saw it still had its throat bones almost perfectly preserved. The bones allowed paleontologists working from Hokkaido University Museum in Japan to recreate the animal's voice box. This was the first time in history we've been able to do this. Scientists learned that even though the armored ankylosaur was a very distant relative of birds, its larynx still shared many characteristics with modern birds that tweet and chirp today. It's even been suggested dinosaurs may have used a kind of hybrid language between birds and reptiles. Now we all have to readjust because I don't know if a chirp is as scary as a roar. Jurassic Park might not have had the same kind of effect. What do you think? And now for number 9. But first, it's shout out time! Big thank you to Ashley and Zachary for your support. This helps us continue to make videos and animations for everybody. If you are new here, welcome! And be sure to subscribe to join the Origins Explained family! Number 9. Ostrich Eggs The ostrich is a prehistoric bird of terror that has managed to escape extinction and survive into modern times. The ostrich, along with its friend the emu, are two of the most frightening animals on the planet. They very recently had a friend called the moa that lived in New Zealand. But that 12-foot-tall monster of a bird went extinct just over a thousand years ago. Within a century of human habitation of New Zealand, the giant birds were all gone. It's a wonder the same fate didn't befall the ostrich. 7,500 years ago, the ostrich was a major source of food for early humans. Archaeologists recently discovered eight prehistoric ostrich eggs near an ancient fire pit in Israel. The fire pit was part of a campsite used by extremely primitive nomads, prehistoric humans who were still living in caves and enjoying a nomadic lifestyle. The eggs were shattered, found next to stone tools, shards of pottery, and cooking utensils. Ostriches had most definitely been on the menu. But perhaps the most shocking part is that up until the 19th century, wild ostriches still lived in Israel. When you think of an ostrich, you most likely think of the scrublands of Africa. But the truth is that they roamed across a huge part of the planet starting about 21 million years ago. The ancient hunters of Israel were some of the last people to scavenge ostrich eggs as a source of food before they all vanished from the area. Scientists recently tried to introduce ostriches back into the Israeli wilderness, but they wound up becoming a source of food for stray dogs and wild wolves. Number 8. Who Bullied the T-Rex? Even though the Tyrannosaurus rex has a reputation for being the most fearsome dinosaur in history, that isn't the case at all. Tyrannosaurs and other dinosaurs related to the T-Rex were not always the most dominant carnivores on the planet. For many millions of years, Tyrannosaurs were bullied and preyed upon by much larger monsters. I'm talking about serious dinosaurs with teeth like serrated knives, titans of the prehistoric world that looked like Godzilla. The predators were called Carcharodontosaurs, and paleontologists recently named a new species of one. Researchers from the University of Calgary and the University of Tsukba named the newly discovered behemoth of a dinosaur Ulugbegsaurus uzbekistanensis. Close enough. It lived about 90 million years ago, with its fossilized remains recently discovered embedded in a rock in the Central Asian country of Uzbekistan. The dinosaur was roughly 30 feet long and lived alongside much smaller tyrannosaurs. Since it was so much bigger and so much deadlier, it almost definitely ate its pint-sized competitors. The one thing scientists don't know is what happened to the Carcharodontosaurs. 
These dinosaurs were the apex predators on the planet, up until they switched positions with tyrannosaurs. For some reason that nobody seems to understand, the two species switched places and the Carcharodontosaurs went extinct. With the competition gone, Tyrannosaurs flourished and grew into giants. Number 7. The Mississippi Lion As the Mississippi River's water level began to drop recently, new parts of the riverbed were exposed for the first time in decades. Local resident Wiley Pruitt was exploring one of these newly exposed sandbars in October 2022 when he came across something shocking. He found a large tooth sticking out from where the water used to be. The resident of Oxford, Mississippi knew he had a treasure on his hands. He soon dug out the fossilized jawbone of an American lion. This ancient subspecies of lion has been dead for about 11,000 years. And while plenty of fossilized evidence has been found, this random discovery was exceptional and unexpected. Wiley knew that he had a piece of a carnivore's jaw, but at first there was no way for him to tell it was a lion fossil. When he learned what he was in possession of, he said it was like hitting the fossil lottery. Have you ever found a fossil? Let me know in the comments! The American lion was the biggest extinct cat known to science to live in North America. According to the National Park Service, they ruled the lands during the last ice age. Their scientific name is Panthera atrox, which translates from Latin as fearsome panther. To give you an idea of just how big the American lion was, most scientists agree it was at least 25% heftier than the African lion. The beast was about 8 feet long and upwards of 1,000 pounds. The lion also lived alongside early humans. Homo sapiens have been in North America for up to 36,000 years, meaning the first North Americans may have been hunted by the fiercest cats that ever lived. Number 6. The Spork Elephant The Platybelodon was an ancient ancestor of our modern elephant. It looked like an elephant that was beaten with an ugly stick. Or at least it looked like it was hit in the face with a shovel and then somehow absorbed it. The Platybelodon, which lived between 20 and 8 million years ago, had a shovel for a mouse. Its mouth kind of looked like a spork, a shovel, or a kitty litter scooper. Anything spoon-shaped, you decide. Its peculiar jaw consisted of an extra pair of wide tusks that were flattened to give it the appearance of a spork. Their lower incisors didn't look like ordinary teeth. They were crushed so flat that they formed a shovel giving the prehistoric elephant a natural scoop so that it could dig vegetation out of swampy environments. Try to imagine having a shovel on the bottom of your jaw so that you could scoop up mud and swallow it. That was essentially what this prehistoric elephant had going on. At least that's what scientists theorized. The truth is that nobody is entirely sure how the platybelodon functioned. Paleontologist William Sanders from the University of Michigan believes its tusks were used more like sides than a single spork. Recent analysis has shown the lower incisors, although they look like a scoop, may have worked for slicing plants and branches. The only thing we know for sure is that these animals were weird. The Platybelodon genus alone had at least 15 species, with all of them having some weird variation of lower tusks. Number 5. Dippy the Dinosaur Dippy the dinosaur is the most famous diplodocus in the world. Dippy's fossilized remains were found in Wyoming in 1899. Andrew Carnegie would eventually purchase the fossil to be the centerpiece of his new museum in Pittsburgh. The very real fossil of Dippy is still there, although imitations have been passed around the world. A cast of Dippy was made and given to the Natural History Museum in London in 1905. It was there for 100 years before Dippy was recently sent on tour across the UK. There also happen to be imitations of Dippy in Paris, Madrid, and even La Plata, Argentina. The Diplodocus was a massive dinosaur that lived in the Jurassic period between 161 and 145 million years ago. They were huge monstrosities, weighing upwards of 30,000 pounds and growing 85 feet in length. They were long-necked herbivores roughly the size of a blue whale, only they walked on land. 
Just try to imagine the biggest whale in the world walking around on four legs. It's a difficult thing to think about. The largest diplodocus on record may have been 92 feet long, while Dippy was only 85 feet long. Have you ever seen Dippy the dinosaur or a copy? Let me know in the comments below. Number 4. The Toothy Monster Scientists have found yet another new species of dinosaur, this time in Germany. The fossil of a truly terrifying creature was discovered by accident in a Bavarian quarry. Scientists were excavating a chunk of limestone containing the bones of a prehistoric crocodile when they came across the new fossil. It was a two-for-one kind of deal. The unexpected fossil turned out to be a member of the pterosaur family, a flying reptile nobody had ever seen before. This new kind of dinosaur had 400 teeth in its mouth, maybe more, and likely ate in a similar fashion to modern ducks and flamingos. This new toothy monster was discovered near where the first pterosaurs were found, also in limestone quarries in Bavaria. Since the first discoveries in the 18th century, hundreds of flying reptiles have been unearthed in the region. But each one is always unique. In this case, the pterosaur had a surprising number of teeth. Professor David Martill from the University of Portsmouth says its jaws were extremely long and lined with tiny hooked teeth. The long jaw was also curved, then flared at the end like a spoonbill. It's the hooked part, though, that has researchers really intrigued. The tiny hooks were likely used to catch minuscule shrimp. The reptile would have waded through shallow lagoons, slurping water into its mouth and filtering out tiny shrimps and copepods. This filter feeding method is the same one employed by the ducks you see at your local pond. When you see flamingos wading through the water, this is exactly how they are feeding. It's a tested system that's been around since the late Jurassic period. Number 3. Jurassic Walmart Something amazing was discovered at a Walmart of all places. A prehistoric insect from the Jurassic era was found in Fayetteville, Arkansas. But it wasn't a fossil. It was a living specimen. Pennsylvania State University Insect Identification Lab Director Michael Skvarla was the one behind the discovery. As he walked into a Walmart in 2012, he noticed something peculiar on the wall outside. It was a huge insect perched on the facade of the building. Being an actual expert in bugs, Michael grabbed the specimen and took it on his shopping trip with him. When he got home, he mounted the bug, thinking it was an ordinary giant dragonfly. Then he forgot about it for years. It wasn't until he took a new look at the insect in 2020 that he realized something was amiss. It didn't look quite the way he remembered it, and something just didn't seem right about it. When Michael performed a DNA analysis of the insect, he found it to be an extinct giant lacewing. Nobody had seen one of these creatures since the 1950s. The giant lacewing used to be all over North America, but after World War II, scientists assumed the prehistoric species was gone forever. But the one found at the Walmart in Arkansas proves that might not be the case. Even though nobody has seen one since, they do seem to be around. It's pretty cool because fossils show these bugs first evolved about 200 million years ago. They survived the mass extinction event that killed the dinosaurs, only to be nearly annihilated by industrialized American civilization. Do you think you've seen a giant lacewing flying around or perched somewhere? Let me know in the comments! Number 2. Giant New Mexican Dino A new species of horned dinosaur was found in New Mexico. The dinosaur is called something like Bisticeratops frosiorum, and it lived 74 million years ago. It enjoyed life in the twilight years of the dinosaur age. Only a few million years later would the asteroid come down and destroy all dinosaur life on the planet. The Bisticeratops was a type of ceratopsid, meaning it was closely related to the much more famous Triceratops. It had a beak similar to a bird, it walked around on four legs like a hippo, and it had huge horns and an armored crown. It was a truly exceptional-looking beast, but its existence was kind of sad. The Bisticeratops may have been one of the main prey for the savage Tyrannosaurus rex. We know this because of bite marks left behind by the T-Rex on the newly found Bisticeratops skull. 
Researchers think the T-Rex may have had a favorite meal. Even with their brutal horns and weighing upwards of four tons, the Bystoceratops was just no match for the more ferocious T-Rex and its indestructible bite. Number 1. Rare Dinosaur Skin Paleontologists made one of the most groundbreaking discoveries in their field in 2011. Even though the discovery was made over a decade ago, it's only been recently that the dinosaur has made headlines. Researchers are now hailing it as a one in a billion discovery. Not one in a million, but one in a billion. The exceptionally well-preserved body of a Borealopelta Mark Michelli was found in Alberta, Canada. The dinosaur is commonly known as a nodosaur, and they once roamed all across the vast plains of North America. The dinosaur belonged to the family of ankylosaurs, but didn't have a club tail. The nodosaur itself isn't that special. It was a fairly ordinary dinosaur that lived during the early Cretaceous, 145 to 100 million years ago. What made this discovery so amazing is that the fossil still has its skin, its exterior armor, its feet, its face, and most of its body intact. Researchers believe the incredible state of preservation will allow them to better understand how animals lived in the Cretaceous period. This thing is basically a mummy, currently believed to be the most exceptionally preserved dinosaur ever found, and it was all thanks to some Canadian miners. Which of these wacky prehistoric monsters is your favorite? Let me know in the comments below, and thanks for watching! Remember to subscribe if you haven't already, and come back soon! Bye!